talk about how badly I wish that I wore glasses. And I've been saying this for years, like way before the hipsters made, I was so hipster that I was hipster before there were hipsters. Um, I, even like when I was a kid, I used to always try to like fail the eye, the vision test that we took and stuff because I wanted to wear them so bad. And I actually own a few pairs of these kind of glasses that, you know, are just plastic lenses, no prescription. But I can't bring myself to wear them because I feel like everyone knows that I can see just fine and I just feel like it's a lie. Um, anyway, enough of that. They were just sitting in front of me and suddenly I felt compelled to put them on. I'm back with another tutorial just for you and this time I decided to do something with a dramatic lip and I really really like it it's not for everyone I think when you decide to take the plunge and do a bold lip it's something you really need to be comfortable with because it is kind of something that grabs people's attention so if you don't like a bold lip you know you don't have to do it with this look. You can keep everything else the way that it is and just apply maybe a nude, a pink, a red, whatever kind of thing you're into is fine. You can definitely alter it to your taste preferences. You don't have to go with such a bold lip color and you don't have to go such a dark one, but I just love dark lip colors. I love dark lip colors and I love dark nail polish colors during the fall time. I don't even normally wear nail polish during the um, the warmer months because I just prefer like black and burgundy and things of that nature so I'm really excited for that to come back. I hope that everything is going great with you guys and I, you know what, I'm just going to say this really quick. When I started my YouTube channel, I was like really excited about doing my hair for it and picking out little outfits to wear on camera. And then somewhere down the line and somewhere very quickly down the line, I just kind of decided that I'm not going to do that. So I apologize if every time I get on camera my hair is in this kind of, I don't know, situation and I'm not dressed cute, but I do know how to do my hair and then maybe I will do some hair tutorials. Some people have asked me for them, but I just couldn't be bothered to get nice and fancy today. So I hope you don't mind. Um, what else is going on? Halloween's coming. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say today. Uh, I don't know. I hope you guys like this. Please subscribe. Feel free to list any questions, comments, or what have you down below. My Facebook, my Instagram, and my blog are down there. If you want to connect via social media, we can do that. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy it and have an awesome day. Love you. Bye. Starting off with uninterrupted Pro Longwear eyeshadow from MAC. I'm just taking a dense shader, uh, kind of crease brush and applying that into my crease area. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush to kind of diffuse it and blow it out. This is kind of like a mustard orange brown color. And we're trying to keep the color scheme in our eye very warm and yellow and red to kind of counteract that dark lip. I'm just building up that color a little bit more intensely. Now I'm taking Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just applying it a little bit more precisely in my crease and bringing it out into my outer corner kind of creating the shape that I want now I am blending both those colors together like so now I'm taking brown script from Mac which is a very warm almost orange brown shade and I'm taking that with a small shader brush just on the um, outer corner and very very low into my crease almost on my lid but not quite and I'm just kind of intensifying that I need this eye to be as warm as I can possibly get it because our lip is so dark that this will keep us from looking kind of washed out with that dark lip color now I'm taking blonde streak pressed pigment from MAC and wetting it with Fix Plus. This will help make it really intense and shimmery and almost make it look like glitter on my eye. I'm just building up that color on my lid um, with a flat shader brush. And now I'm taking Handwritten from MAC and I'm applying it just in the outer V of my eye to kind of create some depth and dimension. Now I'm doing my eyeliner. Um, I will have a video on eyeliner just because I haven't got around to filming it yet. Um, once I've got the eyeliner on, I'm taking that handwritten and I'm just intensifying it in my outer corner again 
And now I'm doing my highlighting with my concealer. I'm using Pro Longwear from MAC. Um, a lot of I have a lot of videos coming for you guys because I want to do an extended highlight concealing. I'm going to do brows, liner, and how to apply false lashes because I feel like I always do these kind of videos and I just say, oh, I'll film a video, I'll film a video. But I promise I will film videos about these particular things to help um, this part of the video make more sense. Now I'm setting my under eye concealer with light mineralized skin finish from MAC and I'm setting the rest of my face with medium plus um, mineralized skin finish from MAC just to make sure our makeup lasts all day. Taking it down the neck like so. I'm um, starting to fill in my brows here. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I do. I will share more once again when I film a brow video. I'm just outlining the shape of my um, brows with the pencil and then I'm going to fill it in with that pencil. Um, if you notice, I'm also wearing my lashes. I'm wearing Ardell Double Up 203s. Um, at the risk of being <laughs> predictable, I will film a eyelash video. But yeah, so right now, just brows in. Um, eyelashes. I'm taking rice paper from MAC and I'm using that to highlight underneath my brow bone. Now I'm taking a NYX um, eyeliner. It's a slide on glide on pencil and it's the brown one in my waterline. Now I'm taking that brown script and bringing it underneath my eye just to add even more warmth to that area. Um, now I am taking that Cocoa Bear and I am blending out that brown script once again, we want this area to be as warm as possible because we have such bold, cool-toned lips. Um, now I am adding some bronzer to the parameter of my face, trying to warm everything up around my face because I think that when you have such a kind of almost black lipstick, it's much more flattering when the rest of your face is really warm and I don't know. I just feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Now I'm taking um, cocoa powder, true match powder, um, and I'm taking my bedellum tools just to kind of carve out my cheekbones, trying to make my cheeks really pronounced today. I'm taking terracotta blush from NYX. It's a very warm, um, almost bronzer kind of like shimmer shade. I don't know. It's gorgeous. I think it complements this look very well. It doesn't compete with the lip color. Now I'm taking Betty Luminizer from the Balm as my highlighter. And I went a little crazy with highlighter today. I actually kind of put quite a bit. Now I'm taking Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC and I'm going to draw in the shape. When you're doing a bold lip, you need to be very careful about how you do it. It needs to look well applied, not sloppy. Um, this is a do as I say, not as I do situation because I did this really, really fast and I didn't do a very good job. So take your time. Then I'm using Cyber Lipstick. It is actually like almost a black purple color from MAC. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And that is the end of the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time, love you and I'll talk to you again. Bye!